Lauderdale, Florida. This is NAB Show Live. Ryan Salazar here with Broadcast Beat Magazine. We have a special guest, Bob Michaels, CEO of ZV. How are you doing, sir? Fine, Ryan. Good morning. It's, it's great to have you here, sir, all the way from Boston. And, and all the way in Boston, we've got Steve Metzger, one of the founders of ZV. How are you doing, sir? Very well, thank you. All right. I understand you're the Vice President of Hardware and Engineering at ZV as well. That is correct. All right. So we also, uh, Bob, you know, we, we mentioned before, um, or we were talking the other day about uh, the RF and IP side of your products. Right. I know about the MPEG-2 side. Right. Um, is there another side of stuff that we can use, like MPEG-4, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. As, as people transition into full IP, uh, the use of MPEG-4 is, uh, is, is much more efficient in terms of bandwidth usage. So we have developed products that are used specifically for uh, distribution of, of IP as opposed to having a combination over RF and IP. Okay, and I'm, I'm looking right here, I see the Zyper MX. Is that the device you have with you? Right, this is one of our newest entrants in, into the marketplace. We're just in the process of uh, our first production run on these. We'll, we'll be shipping these within the next 30 days. And it's quite a simple box. It's an encoder, okay? It takes a signal from any type of source. Right, and, and converts it into an MPEG-4 signal that can be distributed over IP. Okay, and Steve, if you wouldn't mind, um, just go into the specifics of that hardware. Sure, what this is, is, this is the first offering that we have that is not a combination of RF and IP, but is really geared for IP only installations. And using MPEG-4, that allows us to much more efficiently use the amount of bandwidth on the network. So installations that really are mature enough to be IP only now can deploy this a whole lot easier than deploying MPEG-2, which tends to be fairly bandwidth hungry. So are you saying that potentially you could integrate this on an existing network or do you need to create a separate IP network? Well, you could do both. Uh, this gives you the option. If you're doing an MPEG-2 only installation, you really want to craft the network just to do video. But when you're doing MPEG-4, depending on the number of channels, you then all of a sudden could consider combining your data and video and have it work reliably. That's excellent. And, and Bob, so now to get the, the video from the, the, this transmitter, and actually it's an encoder, right. to a television set, I right. assume something's needed because you can't just get the IP right to the set, right? Yes, ab absolutely. One of the greatest misconceptions that we see in many of our customers that we speak with is that, okay, they have this thought that I've done this with RF in the past where I could connect right into the tuner. If I have an IP signal, somehow I can connect right to the television as well. A common misconception, okay, and a broad-based misconception. You actually need a piece of hardware that's there. You need a way to take that signal and to put it into a format that the TV can understand. Okay, and so do you have hardware to do that, or, is, or do Absolutely. certain sets have that? Absolutely, or? again, okay. in this whole process here, being able to deliver a solution to a customer who wants to use an IP-only uh, network, all right, we've developed also a set-top box, okay? okay? And this is called the Zyper, the Zyper MXE. Okay. Uh, and so now that device that works over uh, over your network, obviously. Absolutely. And, and uh, wow, it's just so small. Like so, how oh, it's, does it's 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 really as small as it can possibly be. You have the connection here that comes in on the IP side, and then you have an HDMI output out to the television, All or right. or the monitor, or the display. You're not limited to a television with this. Excellent, Steve. If you wouldn't mind, uh, go ahead and tell us a little bit more about this device. Sure. The Zyper, uh, the it's actually ZVMXE. Uh, is the formal product name, and that stands for Media Experience Engine. Uh, in the marketplace, there's a ton of equipment out there now that does video decoding really well, and this takes advantage of the best of what's out there. So what it's geared for is premise video distribution over IP networks. It takes in the, uh, the IP, uh, decodes it, and then renders it to HDMI for display on any panel. Uh, we've, we've used the best of what's out there, so it's really a very cost-effective unit, uh, contrary to a lot of the, the solutions that have been in the marketplace to date. We really hope to revolutionize IP distribution by making it as easy and cost-effective as RF has been in the past. So, Steve, just let me make sure I get this right. The, um, we've got the encoder. Uh, and I guess this sort of works similar, right, Bob, to your other technologies, except this happens to be over IP. Yes, in essence. Okay. And um, so you've got one encoder box, and each TV, if you say you have 100 or 200 TVs, I mean, that's a lot of TVs. But yes. if you happen to have that many, um, each one of those sets would need one of those devices. Yes. And, um, and, and you manage over your network. That's amazing technology. That's great. And so when is this coming out, or is it out already? This will be available um, within the next several weeks. We will start oh, cool. shipping here uh, just about at the, at the beginning of uh, March. Uh, the potential of doing a whole lot more exists there. The MXE is a platform that uh, not only can you distribute uh, video over your IP networks and make that as easy as RF, but all of a sudden you can now consider doing a whole bunch of other things, interactive applications, 
The MXE, we call it a, an experience engine. And the engine part means that we can power a whole bunch of other things that can be layered on top of just video distribution, really without requiring any upgrade other than software once this is in place. So are you talking about applications or something? Sure. I mean, imagine a, a hospital where you've got uh, patient entertainment is a big thing, but then say you have... Uh, you want to do any of the required uh, videos they have to watch, or content can come from anywhere, not just our sources, as soon as your distribution is over IP. Another great example is schools. Uh, you could have applications for doing education. You could even you know, register whether people are doing things. You know, the sky's the limit. Stephen, that's amazing because then it means that the, the, the possibilities for this product are absolutely endless. And Bob, I'm curious, I, I mean, obviously the form factor is just amazing, but I'm sure it's very affordable as well. Oh, absolutely. At any product that we come out with today uh, has in mind to be affordable for the customer, okay? So the, to bring down the cost of deployment, and that's been throughout our, our history. One of the main uh, features of, of dealing with us, I would say, is that throughout our history, we have always provided additional capability to all of our customers. And if you go back to the RF line, uh, one of the things that we provided, for example, is the uh, introduction of EAS capability. That's the emergency alert system. So we, over the past year, we built that into every single one of our boxes, and we've made that available to all of our customers worldwide through a software upgrade at absolutely no charge. Wow. Okay, so that's cool. Yes, um, and and in addition to that, we've we've built things into our RF system, like a dedicated uh, signage channel, again, that we've provided to customers at no charge. And, and the thought process here is the same. This is a product that is exceptionally expandable, right? So as we continue to add more features, more functionality, we will provide those to our customers. Okay, so you've got the Zyper MX, which is under that device, and you also have the ZV MXE, which is the receiver, right? Yes. All yes. right. Bob, thanks so much for spending some time with us. You guys have some really fun toys. Oh, you're quite welcome. <laughs> yes, we do. I, I certainly love electronics. And Stephen, <laughs> um, thank you so much for spending some time with us as well, all the way from Boston, sir. Thanks, Ryan. All right, have a great weekend, sir. All righty. All right, and everybody else, we'll see you at the 2016 NAB Show. Chat soon.